Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick guide for you guys to get the Dawn the Exiled Knight achievement and decoration from Osis. Uh, it took a little while to find all the pieces, but I finally found them, and so I'm just going to show you guys. First one is in the cave in Osis between the Osis Canyons and Ancient Ruins. If you zoom in here underneath the water, you can find a little clickable journal. So we're going to click that. It's going to give us the first of four. Uh, it goes, in the order of Revan, I found sympathetic minds. Rishi, a paradise by any standard, was our fastness against a galaxy gone mad, but it could not last. Stranded in the aftermath of their downfall, my only path forward was among the planet's scofflaw denizens. As a member of the Corellian-run scoundrels, I continued my path ever onward. Okay. So yeah, we're going to find four random journals for this guy, and then we're going to find the guy himself. It's going to give us the achievement and a stronghold decoration. Part 2, we're going to be in the Jedi Library, right where we come to finish the Asa storyline. There's the phase right there. Uh, we're going to go forward right to this little area right over here. It's the same area if you guys watched the Osis Datacon video, which will be linked down in the description below. Um, but anyway, it's in there that you find one of the ruins for the Endurance Datacron, and we're going to be heading in here as well to find the second lore entry. We're just going to jump down here, and we're going to take a bit of a left. Um, in the corner there is where that rune would be for the Datacron. We're going to continue around this way, all the way to the very back corner here. You're going to see some booze bottles scattered on, the, scattered on the ground, and right there is another one of the journals. So we'll click it here. It's going to give us a second codex entry. It goes part 17. Unfortunately, there's not all four parts yet, but it goes, I found them at last, the ruins of an ancient order hidden among the ruins of their order. Surely my past, my actions had been forgotten. They had not. And so I wander once more, exiled. Getting the impression this guy was a Jedi who made a few wrong decisions and was kicked out of the Jedi Order, so. We'll see if we can learn any more about him. So we'll move on to the next part here in just a second. I just want to go over really quick what was the Exiled Knight. It's just a joke. Um, there was a cartel market armor that came out called the Exiled Knight's Armor. The tooltip said, Don the Exiled Knight's Armor, as in, put it on. Um, people immediately called it as Don the Exiled Knight a person, and it became a massive joke on the Swotor subreddit, and the devs ran with it and put this in. It was actually really cool. So We're going to come over here to the waterfall in the Osis Canyons, and there's two right here. Uh, there's a journal behind one of these two. I'm just going to duck in. We're going to zoom in right here, see if it's this one. Okay, no, there's nothing on the ground here. Uh, we're going to check the second one here. Just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. We're going to duck into the far waterfall right here. Zoom in to see past the water. Yep, more booze bottles. I think this guy likes to drink a little bit. And i just zoom it a little bit here so I can click on it. There we go. There is our third journal. It's going to give us our third codex entry. Part 1. Okay, this is his origin story. On Ilum, war brought ruination to a sacred Jedi world, and to my own life as a member of their order. I merely did what had to be done, as I explained to the Council. They were unswayed, and so I persevere, alone in a harsh galaxy. I wonder what he did to get kicked out of the Jedi Council on Ilum. I wonder. Anyways, that tooltip right, that picture right there, that was the tooltip for the cartel market armor. He was never originally supposed to be a person, but again, everyone saw it and it got ran with, and it became a little nod to the community that the devs put this in here, so. Final journal is in the farms here. We are right at the very edge, close to the water. You can see where I am on the map here. You're looking for this little planter pot right here, right by these two crates. If you zoom right in, you can see the journal right there hidden in the planter, so we're going to pick that up. Gives an achievement, the Epic of the Exiled Knight, and gives a final codex entry. The Carbonite finally melted away years later. I was left adrift in a galaxy I no longer understood. Where could I go? Who could I fight for? Rumors told of Jedi in hiding, rebuilding. Perhaps I could rebuild among them. Okay. So I'm assuming he got frozen in Carbonite probably around the time Zakul attacked. And he got thought out. He heard of the Jedi rebuilding on Osis, and as one of the previous or sorry, entries said, uh, he found the ruins of the Jedi Temple and Jedi Library on Osis, and found that 
talked to them, was still told he was still exiled, so. Poor guy. Anyway, so we're going to go find this guy himself right now. We're back in the Ozus Canyons. We're right at the speeder right here. And we're going to be zooming down towards the river. So this is the original speeder that you get to as an Imperial player. We're going to start out right from there. And we're going to hug the sort of the edge of the map here. Follow the path. If you can see those that little arch down there and a statue, that's sort of what we're looking for. Right in the center of my screen right there, that arch and the statue. So... We're just going to follow it all the way down. It's just a little bit of a run. Uh, you're going to pass this big boulder on your left right here. And here we have Geonosians fighting. We're going to pass through the arches here. And we're going to dock right through these Geonosians. If you run right through them, they should despawn. Just hop over the rocks here. And you can actually angle your camera down. You'll see a little bit of a path right here. So we're going to follow it all the way down. And here he is himself. Uh, we're just going to wait for the Geonosians to despawn. Achievement completed. Dawn of the Exiled Knight. So there's a stronghold decoration unlocked right now. Um, looks like he's just sort of been living on his own right here. Poor guy. Yeah. Dawn of the Exiled Knight. Located Dawn of the Exiled Knight. Perfect. And let's see if there is a codex entry for him. Uh, that is in a lore. Let's check Persons of Note. I think there should be one for him somewhere in here. Dawn the Exiled Knight. Here we go. Okay. Mysterious. Intriguing. Captivating. These are only a few of the descriptions applied to the individual known only as Dawn the Exiled Knight. In the short time since the publisher of his forthcoming autobiography first introduced him to the Galactic Stage, Dawn has become a holonet sensation, driving speculation and curiosity from literary fans across the galaxy. And then there's just a little blurb, sort of, where does he come from, where does he go? Hoping to be, there's a whole bunch of people searching for him, and they want to learn the truth from the exiled knight himself. Okay, so kind of a cool little lore entry there. Um, I was almost hoping that we'd get a little bit more. Maybe an origin story, find out what why he got kicked out of the Jedi Order and stuff. Who knows, maybe they'll expand on this in upcoming content. That would be kind of a neat idea if in future upcoming worlds we get to see more of him. Anyway, so we're just going to show you guys really quickly here. This is him in my stronghold. He just becomes a placeable decoration. I don't know if he looks too happy to be there, but yeah. That is Don the Exiled Knight and the Osa's Achievement, guys.